Hello, I'm Fiona. I'm married to Martin, and we have a 10-year-old son, Leonard. I am a member of the Iona community, a priest, and a university chaplain. Life is busy and often complicated, which is why I need a rule of life. However, looking at all of you, I realize that it is a bit presumptuous to assume that you also need a rule of life. You may have tracked down that elusive creature known as work-life balance, beaten it into submission and harnessed it to your service. You may have found a church with which you agree in every particular. I, alas, have not. But having a rule of life does help. The rule I follow is that of the Iona community, and this is why I need it. The rule of the Iona community involves a commitment to work for justice, peace, and the integrity of creation. Many members are drawn to this aspect of the rule, believing that faith requires us to act. I am a member of the Church of England. I do have great affection for the Church. It has nurtured my faith and supported my vocation. I love the rhythms of the church year, and that so far at least, we have been a broad church, able to hold a range of views. Having said that, I also find the Church of England deeply frustrating. Whilst much good is done in parishes and at local level, the diversity of the church and the relative independence of the diocese makes it hard for the Church of England to speak with one voice at a national level on issues I am passionate about. Being part of a community committed to working for justice, peace, and the integrity of creation gives me a framework to act within, a place to hold my anger with the institutional church and also people with whom to share my frustration. Like many communities, our rule has a commitment to daily prayer and regular engagement with the Bible. This holds us together with all of our differences. The Iona community is diverse and inclusive. Members hold a range of firmly held and passionately argued views. Often these clash. Discussions are sometimes heated. But we are committed to each other, and it is fine to disagree. Our rule doesn't include one of obedience. Our commitment to daily prayer for and with each other allows us to work together knowing we are heading in broadly the same direction, even if our particular interests and routes of travel differ. There is a rhythm to our daily cycle of prayer that is personally sustaining day to day, but also knowing that once a month Martin, Leonard and I are prayed for in the Abbey Church on Iona and by members and associates around the world is uplifting. The rule requires me to reflect on how I live my life in very practical ways as part of our common life together. We commit to account to each other for the ways we spend our time, money and resources. Accounting takes place within family groups which are geographically based, but we also write to the community leader each year, reflecting on how we have kept the rule and remain with the community. Talking to friends outside the community about accounting has thrown up some surprising reactions. A suggestion that accounting for use of money is cult-like, that accounting for how we spend our time and use our resources is invasive. It does involve some balancing. I am a member and Martin is an associate, so my accounting allows for this disparity. I have found the process to be wholly positive, and money isn't the hard one. Martin appreciates having other people tell me that my work-life balance isn't all it could be. 
Having a shared rule places me within a community of supportive and engaged people. We know that we are few and that the problems are large. But our commitment to each other enables us to do more and reach further than we could alone. It is hard sometimes, feeling overwhelmed and helpless in the face of the suffering and conflict in our society and in the wider world. Writing yet another letter to my MP, trying to engage students and local churches with wider issues of justice, can all seem like pushing a giant boulder uphill, expecting to be squashed flat any moment. I am privileged to be part of a community of remarkable, passionate and active people. We recognize that what we offer will vary depending on our wider commitments. I do not keep the rule alone. We keep the rule as a community, and we support and uphold each other in a whole range of actions and prayer. Hearing what other members are doing as they live out the rule is encouraging and inspires me to do more. The rule requires us to live out our commitment where we are and roots me firmly in my locality. It is wonderful to visit Iona, but the real work of the community is done where we live, in our families, our churches, our workplaces. Our rule is both rooted in the world as it is, with all its imperfections, sorrows, inequalities and divisions. Yet it looks to us to live in the world as it could be, by seeking peace founded on justice and that costly reconciliation that is at the heart of the gospel. The songs, liturgies and prayers of the Iona community speak of a world all too recognisable in its frailties and flaws, and yet it looks to its grace-filled transformation through the redeeming work of Christ. They challenge and inspire me to live more fully for Christ within the world. Having a rule of life has been wonderfully liberating, I have found a rule that balances action, prayer, daily life, community life, and the opportunity to see what I do is part of a wider, deeper movement committed to bringing about the rule and reign of God. There is a growing recognition of the importance of having a rule of life, and many Christian communities have grown up in recent years. The Iona community is the one in which I find myself at home. It may not work for you, but others might. Having a rule of life has long been part of the Christian faith. It has been tried and tested over the centuries. If you have a nagging feeling that there should be more to this business of being a Christian than you have found so far, then maybe a rule of life might be for you.